Well, just got the truck packed up, heading to Wyoming. Uh, we're gonna just think it's like 18 hour drive from here. We got seven guys and 17 tags. We'll be driving through Idaho, Montana, and into Wyoming tonight. It's gonna be a good hunt. Montana. He's the eyes, little cutters, which ones I look forward. All right, guys, we finally made it. Now, it's time to set up camp. And we're done. Camp's all good to go. We're hopping in the rigs now. Gonna go check out a few spots. The spot that we were banking on has had multiple rigs pulling in, so our honey hole ain't so honey hole anymore. So we're gonna go check out some new areas this evening. See what we can't see. Oh, we just spotted some antelope on Access Yes property. However, there are two guys on the far side of them walking straight towards them, so. Looks like they're all does, but Dan's got a doe tag, two doe tags for this unit, actually. Have to wait and see what unfolds. So the unit that we drew uh, for antelope here in Wyoming, there is a ton of private land. So the main, the main hunts we're going to have are going to be on small pieces of BLM and small pieces of state in amongst with all these ranches and stuff. So uh, one of the things we're doing right now, it's almost dark and uh, we're just kind of sitting on the edge of a state line uh, by a private property watching a bunch of antelope just seeing if, if they'll cross the line on the state seeing quite a few animals and there is quite a few little pieces it's just being able to access those pieces and then uh, finding animals on them so we got mule deer whitetail and antelope on private land we're just waiting to see if any of these uh, antelope will come off on the public it's like a nice whitetail in there the muley Alright guys, well it's been a wild morning this morning, morning day one. Hunter, Dan, and Tim are headed out. Hunter's got to go pick up Daniel at the airport, uh, but he's going to drop the guys off. And uh, yeah, I cooked breakfast this morning, didn't get any video of that. We had some French toast, it was delish. But then I broke... My sunglasses. Yeah, 17 tags to fill still, so. Should be a wild ride. That's the shooter. Got him. Got him. Smoked him. <laughs> Dumped him. Holy Toledo. Yeah. You kidding me, guys? Smoked him. That thing has a gnarly blade coming out the right side, like straight out. Dude, that was a 400 yard poke, dude. <laughs> Dude, talk about a sweet little setup. Oh, nice little perch. 
that thing's got a cool looking right Does one. it? It's cool. Nice. He comes out in that blade. That blade on the right one, dude. That a fellow was, buck owner. That was so awesome. <laughs> that blade on the right. Oh, is it cool? It's cool. It comes like straight out. Oh, man. It doesn't have one on the left, but the one on the right just comes straight really? out. Can you yeah. believe he laid down? I can't believe like, that. He bet it down. I kept losing him. You know, when he bet it down, I was contemplating trying to get your attention to back up, <sighs> drop down, and run and go up that little hill right over there. Yeah. I feel like once, he, shot, right? once he bet it, though, like. Because he was looking right at me for a little yeah. bit, and then when he bedded, he bedded, he bedded quartering to me. Oh, man. And, wow. Fantastic. Buck down. Buck down, <laughs> dude. That was crazy. I had to calm myself. Like, I, I kept losing him because I zoomed out yeah. to find him again, and then yeah. I'd zoom in, and I'd see him and decide, like, dude, I'm going to shoot this thing. And then I'd lose him again because I started shaking. And Unfortunately, I wasn't ready for your shot, and you didn't I didn't have shot. a tripod. So it's on him, yeah, and then it goes boom, and the camera goes like that, <laughs> and then I find it again. Four hundred yards, Dude, wow! That's a poke. <laughs> Your gun's dialed. Well, let's go get the truck okay. and our packs, and then we'll go get them. Well, oh, guys, Travis just drilled his first buck. Shoulder mount material. Shoulder mount material. <laughs> All right, guys, we went back to the truck, grabbed our packs, everything we needed, and we're headed to go check out an antelope, baby. Travis' first buck. Hopefully, we got him a wall hanger. We'll see. I was looking through the video camera. And didn't pull up my binoculars. Sent him forward 50 plus yards, and I stayed back. And uh, yeah, let him make the call. So he is very excited. I just hope it meets meets his expectations of what he thought he shot. So I'm excited, baby. I can't wait to go see it. All I can say is God's good. I'm very. I think we go this way. Oh, I don't want to try this direction. <laughs> He's good. That sucker's got a hook. He's good. <laughs> He's real good. Oh, oh my goodness. Woo. Yeah. <laughs> That's a Holy dandy. Cow. Wow. I think it's bigger than here. here. Dude. He's oh. a monster. That is a goat. <laughs> yes. Look at the size of this thing. Oh, yeah, buddy. I shot him. He was right there. You see blood. The exit one's right here. Hit him right here somewhere. Yep. Dude. Straight back. Oh, wow. Are you kidding me? Look at the That's hooks. The horse. Look how big he is. Look at the stinking hooks. Look at that animal, dude. And look at that. Hey, one of his hooks dug into the ground. Look at his look cutter. Look at the size of that. Look at that cutter. Wow, oh, man. look at that animal, dude. <laughs> <laughs> what? What just happened? Dude. No way. Are you kidding me? Look at that thing, dude. That is a trophy antelope. That is a trophy and a half, <laughs> That is a brother. stud. Look at that. Wow. Dude, he's going to look so good. He's going to taste even better. <laughs> oh, 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 my. Atlanta. Oh, Are you kidding me? <laughs> yes! Ah. Sir, stud. You glad you pulled the trigger? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Almost passed up this guy. Now that is what we came for, people. <laughs> wow. Yeah, he's got little, he's, look at that. Look at that thing. Hook. Yeah. Hook. Bam. This is what I seen. This is what sealed yeah. the deal for me. Yeah. I saw that. I saw I this saw... and I was just like, oh, dude. I knew it hooked good. Yeah. And I saw something. No way. Laid out. God is so good. <laughs> God is so good. Amen. Dude. This is Dude, it doesn't get much complete no, trophy. It, I mean absolute trophy. Absolute one hundred percent trophy antelope right here. Look Might be that. like trophy of the, of the week cow. for people out here. It's that's Dude, a beast. This I is don't foresee be. someone getting moved. <laughs> that. That's incredible. Woo. 
Dude, I'm so excited right now. <laughs> so excited. Dude, you have I no idea never, how freaking happy I am for you right I've now. I've never taken, like, a decent... Well, that my blacktail this year that I shot with my bow was pretty good. I was really happy with him. But I've never taken anything that was just, like... A monster. Jaw-dropping, like... <laughs> no way. Oh, wow. And this guy, man. I can't, wow. This guy did it for me. Good thing I didn't have more time to look at him because I... Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. We would have been fighting over the gun, buddy. <laughs> oh, he's a stud. Oh, let me check his teeth out. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. No, he's, oh, yeah. He's, he's 18 years old. He's 18. Uh, 18. Yeah, good, yeah. good. Good morning, guys. It is morning of day two. We had a nice late night of some good old stories. Each group sharing what they ran into that day. And then Tim's back. Four antelope down day one. Thirteen to go. All right, guys, we found a group of goats. They're on the back side of this hill. There's probably 20 of them or so. They're moving around, so I'm trying to get around, <clears throat> get up on top here, see if we can get a shot. saw another really nice buck so we're gonna sneak down in there hopefully catch him on public land and get the big boy well we just had an opportunity 
Dan, Dan took a shot. Didn't quite connect. Right over the right over its back. So they ran around behind that hill. Travis is running back to the truck to lock it. And we're heading out. We're gonna try to go up the draw just a little bit of where they were. And try to get on them again. Never, never did find them. So back to the truck to cruise some more. <coughs> It's got yeah. ivory tips on them and stuff. Just getting anxious now because we're walking. Probably setting up on the back one because it's broadside. I, get I got the back one. I saw it. Right on. Yep. I saw the explosion behind Maybe. Oh, he may. He can drop the other one too. Yep. Right. Good morning guys, it is day three, Monday. We've got three groups of antelope spotted. We picked the group with what appears to be the biggest bucks in it. They're quite a ways out. There, back over there, there's a little creek bed that we're gonna try to go through. Hopefully it's gonna be deep enough to stay out of sight. Be the predator. Look at that right there, baby. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. What do you have to say for yourself? Two down, one to go. There we go. <laughs> I took a look at the bucks. Decided it's not yet time for one of them to perish. And so we handed Tim the shooting sticks and he... Whack one! Dropped like a rock. We got Tim's antelope all done, and we just spotted a herd with two decent bucks in it. So Tim's gonna pack his back to the truck, and Dan and I are gonna go see if we can't put a stock on one of these bucks. Unfortunately, it's flatter than flat, so it could be difficult getting in there. All right, guys, well, we snuck up on them, and we ended up getting into 108 yards of them. And then I started belly crawl or belly crawling forward to try and get a better look at the bucks. Um, I could see one. Decided I didn't really want him, uh, but knew there was another big one in there. They got up, started feeding towards us, and they ended up 
getting to within 70 yards. Um, I still couldn't see the other one, which ended up being the bigger one. Uh, but before I saw the big one, I told Dan to shoot a doe because I saw one of them. I knew they were close to the same size and the one just wasn't quite what I was looking for just yet. So I still got three full days in the morning. So there's still time, there's still hope. But uh, yeah, there's the cows and there is the doe that Dan shot at 72 yards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, we got done cutting Tim's up at 12.30. It is 2.30, so we're gonna head back to the truck and see if we can't find Tim. And who knows, maybe there's some antelope right on the other side of the truck. Well, we dropped Dan's doe off at the truck. Found a love note from Tim telling us where he was. So we climbed to the top of the knob in front of the truck to do a little glassing and found some antelope, but we found Tim. I was staring at Tim through binoculars as he was hunched over and we were kind of wondering, I wonder if he's, I wonder if maybe he got something. Well, I then saw a leg go flying through the air thus confirming he got his third antelope. So we grabbed our bags and headed out to go meet him. It's gonna be dark here in like an hour, so <clears throat> if we can speed up the process any for him or take a little bit of the load off his back. He's already packed out a complete dough this morning. I figured we should help him out. I got bored, so. That's what I'm talking about. Went and killed well done. me. Well right. off. Dude. What was it? Yeah, buddy. Shot where I wanted to shoot. <laughs> That's awesome. I was back in those twigglies, oh, the side of the uh, sagebrush, about 250 or so, 270. David, day four of the hunt. Yesterday was absolutely amazing. The group together ended up taking six antelope yesterday, all does. But that, uh, that brought us back up ahead of schedule. So we have two buck tags left three doe tags in this unit and then Travis and I have doe tags in another unit. Anyway, we hiked quite a ways back in here this morning. Hiked up a ridge and we just spotted a good group of antelope. So we're closing the distance, gonna get a spotter on them, see if they're worth going after the whole way. So. Fingers crossed, it's in the area that the tall wide one was in that Tim took some photos of. And I would be very pleased to shoot that one, so hopefully he's in there. those antelope and there are three bucks in there but not quite what we're looking for we saw two other herds we were contemplated going after them and then Tim decided to peek around the ridge and he found the mother load so it's looking like they're about a mile and a half out through a deep cut so it it's gonna be a trek we've already put on about three miles so we're <laughs> it's gonna be some mileage today but there's gotta be a big one in that group. So we're going full send. Well, hey Travis, what do you have? 
How'd you find that? Got the eye. You're just walking? Just walking. Uh, Got the eye. Tell me about it. It was a beautiful thing. <laughs> How'd you find it? My tiger eye. Found it with the... <laughs> tiger eye. You got the eye of the tiger. It's good and on I, you. I scared it and it dropped its horns. It fell off its head. It fell off its head. That's what we do. We cut the distance quite a bit. There's one huge group up there. There's one group of like two and then there's a group of eight. And the lead buck in that group of eight was a very obvious buck. We're still quite a ways away. But it's got me a little excited. Unfortunately, they're in a very difficult spot to stock in on them, so. Now hopefully we can pull off some magic. So what happened? Let's get this. After looking over the bucks at about 315, 320 yards, picked one out, decided to shoot it, and uh, shot. And they all took off running. It did sound like a hit, but they ran over the hill. So. We're gonna go take a look, see. A little bit. Dead antelope, baby. Let's take a look. Sweet little kickers out both sides. Yeah, he does. That is nice. Got almost every tip. Hooks really cool on the inside too. Yeah. Nice shot. Sweet. Nice yeah, shot. Perfect shot. Two little oh, stickers. Two little nubs that coming out. That's, That's cool. So cool. And he hooks. He hooks hard. He oh, hooks hard. Man. Yeah. Got some ivory on there. Cutters to the tip. Good cutters. Very nice. Awesome. Not with that animal at all. All right. Okay. Crazy. 
Crazy. Chase just got one down. What do you say about yours now? I would say out of the 100 plus antelope we've seen in this area, he's the biggest. He's nervous. There's two, three. The head's over. All right, guys. Well, the buck is down. The dirty work starts now. Got the kill kit ready to go. And now the good old ritual. Gotta pop me an allergy pill. Because unfortunately, I'm allergic to the beautiful animals I hunt. Luckily, I'm not allergic to the meat, so once the hide's off, I'm good to go. But, I gotta wear my respirator, gloves, all that fun jazz. Now I get to make coffee. <laughs> <laughs> A little snacky poo before we get dirty. Dumb hatch. Pack is loaded up, and we are headed out. We drew a line on Onyx, and we are 2.87 miles from the truck. But that's if we just go straight up over the mountains. Instead, we're going to be going down and around and back around. So it'll be a good little jaunt. Totally worth it. We made it. Back to the truck. In the daylight. Always a good thing. Try something new. You look a little warm, Travi. Packs are full. <laughs> it's a good feeling. We made it. Uh, can't thank you guys enough for helping me out. Oh yeah, man. That's awesome. Appreciate Stuff. it. Yeah. <sighs> Camp, bring the daylight. We got old Timmy cutting up some back straps. Go with our chili. Travis is flinging some arrows, prepping for tomorrow. And I just got done prepping some antelope heart. New appetizer, all right. Cool. There's my dough. Right. One or two tags. What's that over there? Yeah. Oh, that's another antelope. <laughs> I got two. You got two? I killed both eggs. No way. <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah, that's the other one right there. These guys had no idea I got two goats out of the same group. Got my tags filled, so that was fun to surprise them with. Alright guys, uh, just took two does, I filled my last two tags out of the uh, same herd. Yeah, now we gotta get to work and take care of those, but yeah, I think that's, what is that? 13 out of 17 tags filled now, so now I'm gonna go prairie dog shooting. I'm excited to get these things taken care of, get back to camp and show the guys. Well, good morning guys, it is Wednesday day five and a half. Luckily I was able to take a nice goat yesterday. Still wasn't quite what I was looking for, but it was just a perfect buck. So I pulled the trigger. Um, 
hunter was able to tag his two does so he is fully tagged out now uh, so all we have left for tags are Travis and I have one doe tag each in another unit which is actually where we're about to head to and then Daniel has a buck tag left so they're pretty excited getting all amped up ready to go <laughs> boys will be boys <laughs> And the serious group is going to go shoot some does. So we're uh, loading up the truck. We're going to go find some antelope. Hopefully we get good news from Dan with a big buck down. But there's some stunned bucks in Go shoot some prairie dogs this morning. We got a couple towns down the hill here, so I got the uh, 17 HMR. We got Tim over here making some yellow snow, and we'll go see what we can find. We can see there's already some up. I was a little worried with the snow that you know they might not be popping out of the ground, but it looks like they are. So we'll uh, show you show you a few of those getting whacked up. You ready? Yep. He done. He... Oh, dude. I think you went through him. Oh, you hit him. All right, let me find him. Here. Got him. Right in the face. Got him. Oh, yeah. Rolled over. Okay, got him. <laughs> uh. Slay him, dude. Making sausage. <laughs> oh. Nice. 
Yeah, I rolled them. Zoomed it. Oh, you did. Yeah, he's done. Mostly. Oh. That works. <laughs> oh, pretty dog taco. <laughs> Got him. I got him. Oh. Here you go. There he is. You, go. you got him. What? <laughs> Oops, sorry, buddy. Come back on the mound, you're gonna die. I think it's hard. Oh, come on. Far one. There's, yeah, okay. Got him. Hurry, he's going down the hole. Uh, I, think you I think you missed that one. There's one on the next mound behind him even. There's three of them. Ah, dirt went flying. Ooh. Off to the right. Oh, hammered him! <laughs> I'm out of bullets. You're out of bullets. Reload. Should that bench go all the way up? Yeah.
Like when you were came down and the antelope and just in the valley down there. Alright guys, it's time to blow off some steam. Still can't find any antelope on public land. But I just found a bunch of prairie dogs, so... I'm gonna bust out trusty bow. Voila! We're gonna go try to uh, stick one with the bow since I gave the AR to Tim this morning to go play around with some prairie dogs so hopefully I can whack them with the bow got the bow and a bunch of prairie dogs we're gonna go try to get a uh, get an itchy trigger finger relieved see if we can't stick one of these guys and fail they all bailed into their little homes now we're back to antelope hunting so here we go again. So we just got to another public spot. We're checking out. We made a phone call to a landowner for a call back. See if we can get some access to shoot it over to. We shall see. So, uh, things just happened. Things happened. Uh, getting a little excited. We drove past, an, or we went to that state land, didn't find anything. Literally less than 200 yards outside of the state land is a big old group of antelope. And we found the phone number online to the owners of and they just gave us the okay, the green light to go and try and get these things. So we're going to go try and So if we get them, we're going to be dropping off the tags in their mailbox as requested. Woohoo! Here we go, baby. So, Travi, what do you have to say for yourself? Well, we shot, we got one down. We were supposed to count to three. <laughs> it was crazy, and we we didn't get to three and somebody couldn't I, I got trigger I got trigger happy because everything was moving we had it planned out that we were gonna both get in on one I couldn't get in on one finally it stopped chase was ready and I said ready he said one I went boom <laughs> and things just escalated from there so anyway there's uh, there's another herd of like five out that direction that I might be able to get on so we're gonna go grab Travis, toss it in the truck, take it back to state land, figure out the best way to make a play on these ones out here, and I'll probably leave Travis to uh, to gutting and taking care of his antelope. Thank you. 
girl. That wasn't a that wasn't a bad shot at all. Roll back. over. Let's see the. Uh, is this the side she was facing? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yep. No meat loss whatsoever. Cool. Well did. Hey, Fave. Sorry about the itchy trigger. It, it's been five Damn, five days people. since I pulled the trigger. I'll forgive you, at least we got an animal down. From what it looked like, it looked like we were getting zero. So because we shot her on private land, we're gonna be respectful, throw her hole in the back of the truck and take her to state land, which thankfully isn't too far away. Another perk of being allergic, so it's a great excuse to make your okay. buddies do all the work. It's a good problem to have. Dude, guys, God is so good. The odds of us finding a landowner that would let us do that without paying a trespass fee or anything is amazing. And then after Travis got his, the fact that we were able to get on another set and they were way out there and they were cruising up over this hill so we drove around to the other end and they literally came right to us. 330 yards. Perfect. It's perfect. Travi, we're freaking tagged out, Good man. Cool. Tagged out one. <laughs> Ow! Yeah. Good morning. You're officially tagged out. 17 tags filled. 17 to 17 feels good. So uh, uh, we're gonna be packing up this morning. Uh, some of the guys wanted to sleep in, but me, Travis, and Warren wanted to come do a little uh, prairie dog hunt. So there's a couple towns out here we're gonna go check out. Hunter and Tim went out yesterday and had some serious fun. So we're gonna go try to repeat that. Further left. 